Hi everyone. In this video we will see the Shadow Catcher feature. Open the Shadow Catcher panel and click on Add Shadow Catcher. A plane, as Shadow Catcher, has now been placed on the 3D cursor. The Shadow Catcher also contains a reflection plane for Eevee. To see shadows in Eevee, we need a point of light. In this case I added a sun via HDRI Maker's Lights panel. Now, to fix the shadows, let's go back to the Shadow Catcher menu. Let's adjust the Shadow Strength property by lowering its value, until we find the correct visual configuration. The Shadow Catcher plan can be scaled at will. Now we have a shadow cast on an invisible plane. Then we can make the background transparent. This allows you to keep the background lighting, but not see it directly. This feature allows you to have a Shadow Catcher even in Eevee, as normally the Shadow Catcher only works in cycles. In Cycles Render, the shadow looks different, as it is produced by HDR background lighting. This only happens in Cycles, in Eevee the background does not produce shadows. As you can see, by rotating the background, it produces different shadows, depending on the bright points of the background itself. The difference is remarkable. Eevee is now illuminated by a sun point, while Cycles is illuminated by the sun point plus the background. From the Shadow Catcher panel, we can also set the reflectivity of the plane. As you note, the plan reflects everything right now, but we want to reflect only our model. Let's add the same background as light and now set our diffuse background to a solid color. Now we have the ability to set the light path, which blends the two diffuse and light components. Set it to as reflection ray. The lighting will be that of the background with image, but the reflection will be that of the solid color. This is a trade-off for not having the background reflected on the plane, because in this case we don't need it. Some effects can be added to the reflection. Fingerprint. All effects can be resized and adjusted for intensity. Tiles. Animated water. Now let's set the shadow well and then try to render with a separate background. I render the scene with Eevee. Now that it's rendered, let's open it in Blender's compositing editor. Activate backdrop from the view menu and activate use nodes. To display the image on the backdrop, it is necessary to add a view node which will be the one that will show in real time the preview of what we are going to modify in the image. To merge the two links, simply press Shift plus right mouse and hover over the links with the mouse. Let's try using a solid color as a background. Add a mix node. Now, we need the alpha channel of the image so that this value handles the mix node. This allows you to add a background color. You will also be able to indulge yourself. In the beginning and end chapters I used a gradient color. Through the use of color ramp. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on news.